Hello everybody, welcome back to Nakano. Nakano happens to be in our neighborhood and we think it's one of the best places in town. We're here to try out some amazing street food at Nakano Broadway. Um, as always, we're going to be taking around Nakano Broadway at the end of this video. So if you want to see why this place is so special, make sure you stay until the end. For now, let's go and check out the food. Here is Daily Chico. It's located at the basement floor of Broadway in Nakano. Yes! Look at this amazing ice cream. How tall this is! Wow! It's eight flavors. And it's more than one foot. Okay, let's eat it before it melts. So, I wonder what flavor this is. What flavor is that? Coffee? Coffee? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm. Mm, good. Okay, so this is coffee flavor. Mmm. Oh, this is nice. This is like, um, it's not really ice cream, but it's not really soft serve either. It's somewhere in between, and it has a really rich flavor. Oh, this coffee ice cream is better than I expected. Next flavor, strawberry. This tastes good too. But I think I like the coffee one better. Blue one is lamine flavor. Lamine flavor. Lamine flavor. Yes. How is it? Oh, is it? Is it good? Nostalgic flavor. Nostalgic flavor. Yes. It tastes like bubble gum. Yum! It's chocolate. Yeah, it's chocolate. This one isn't sweet at all. I want to combine the chocolate and lamine. No, chocolate and lamine. Mm -hmm. Seriously? It's the green. Area is maybe it's matcha. Matcha? Yes, and the white area is vanilla. No. I have a bite of it. So this gray one? Gray one. I don't know. It was sesame. Sesame! Sesame flavor. I see. Wow. Alright, we're almost done. Mm. We're almost there. Oh, we're almost there, Satoshi. One more flavor. One more flavor left. Only vanilla. Vanilla. I think it's corn. The corn. Yes. Mm. I like corn. You like corn? Yes. Oh. This crispiness. So do you want me to buy you a box of ice cream cones? No. <laughs> Check it out. We're at this place called Mata Ashita. And this place is super famous for their shumai. But what I recommend is there meat bun? And I think this is about 180 yen. I can't remember. I'll check it out later. But it's amazing. I, I believe this is one of the best meat buns in all of Tokyo. Let me show you what it looks like on the inside. Look at that, guys. Look at all that meat with onions and there are shiitake mushrooms, bamboo shoots. There's a whole bunch of goodness in this one package. So, whoa, oh my gosh, my hand is shaking from the excitement. Look at that meat, look at that meat. Okay, itadakimasu. Oh my god, <laughs> best meat bun ever. The bun is so fluffy, it has a really nice, a little subtle sweetness to the bun. And the inside is so well seasoned, seriously, this is so good. Uh, Next is we bought is shumai. Yes, we have uh, three kind of shumai. One is scallop, and one is shrimp and meat. The first one is scallop. I love 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 scallop. The shumai wrapper can wrap all of the meat. Meat is outside of the shumai wrapper. I'm gonna dip uh, soy sauce and a little bit mustard, mm -hmm. and itadakimasu. The scallop taste and meat taste comes immediately and the taste is not subtle, not so strong, just good. Mm. Mm. 
Honey heaven. So what are you going to eat next? I'm going to eat the shrimp. Shrimp? Yes, I've been eyeing that shrimp. So this is a shrimp shumai. Mm -hmm. You see that shrimp on the top? Look oh. at that. Look at that. All right. Mm -hmm. More shrimp on the inside as well. And this one, you know, just like the scallop one, the meat goes so well with the shrimp. And the wrapper is very thin. You know, the wrapper is there just to hold things together. Seriously, when it comes to shumai or nikuman, this is probably my favorite place in all of Tokyo. It just so happened to be in our neighborhood. Not right. We are eating fried noodle yakisoba and we ordered a regular portion and zenbuno set all the toppings. Take a look at this plate guys. It is amazing. There's so many things going on here. So that is the uh, ontama, ontama, which is the half boiled yes. egg. And this is shrimp. Shrimp. And this is seaweed. Aonori. Uh, dried seaweed. Aonori. And then these are the, the wasabi mayonnaise. Wasabi mayonnaise. And uh, this mustard mayonnaise. Mustard mayonnaise. Japanese mustard mayonnaise. And this is a yuzu go shou mayonnaise. Wow. Look at this. That looks so good. And all of the ingredients are um, from uh, domestic in Japan. Mm. Just really good. I didn't feel not so good. It's very good to eat us. He said it's very strong kick. So uh, uh, we have to use very little portion. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought it would come to my nose very oh, but it's not. It's very mild. Mm. Mm. Completely different from the yakisoba I'm used to. In this one, they really focus on the dashi flavor. It's not so heavily laden with the sauce, but you can taste that katsuro dashi. You ready? Mm. You ready for this? Mm. Ooh. And that is the half boiled egg, oh. guys. And... All right. Mmm, what a great combination. Mmm, you have to get it with that egg. For dessert. Yes, please. So we're at this place called Challenger, it's right across from the ice cream shop. And we're here to try out the crepes. Really nice. This is really nice. 
And this is the one that he recommended to us, and um, this is a really good choice. Um, they have a lot of varieties of crepes here, sweet and savory. Um, I was a little bit tempted to try out the curry one. They had a curry <laughs> crepe, and that I've never had curry, curry crepe, crepe before. Crepe. Mm. But I can imagine it tasting good. However, we already had a lot of savory food, so we're sticking to dessert right now. Mm. Check that out. Look at all the cream and the chocolate and the banana. Mm. Mm. And the grape wrapper has a very good chewiness. I love this texture. But my favorite thing out of everything we ate today was the nikuman. The meat, the meat bun. Oh my god, it's the best. It really is. My favorite was yakisoba fried noodle. Oh it's, yeah. The noodle is very al dente. It's so nice. I'm gonna be taking a stroll inside the Nakano Broadway building. So if you're interested in seeing what's inside, make sure to stay tuned. If not, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care everybody. Ciao, bye bye. Hello everybody. So welcome to the portion where uh, we take you around town. <laughs> I shouldn't say town. We're actually in the basement level of this building called Nakano Broadway. And Nakano Broadway is pretty popular with the foreign community right now, as well as tourists. It's gaining in popularity because of what you can find upstairs. But we want to tell you that there's a lot to see downstairs in the basement level. There's a lot of fruit that you can have and they're really good. Um, we tried out the ice cream. Um, I think this is the only place you can get that gigantic ice cream. There's a beautiful fish shop with fresh sushi for a really good price. Like dried cuttlefish. This place is the best place to buy them at a very good price. There's a really nice tea shop, grocery store. Oh, yeah, this grocery store here called Seiyu. Um, they're open until 11 p.m., open from 10 a.m. And this is a place to come if you're looking for souvenirs, food kind of souvenirs, um, because they have the best prices. We're gonna go up on the second floor. I'm gonna show you guys what you can find on the second floor. Look. Gundam floor. Let's check it out. Gacha machines. Eighty thousand yen for this monster. Hundred twenty thousand for this small little bugger. So we're walking through this place on the second floor of Nakano Broadway, and um, well, if you haven't guessed by now. Most of these stuff are geared towards uh, people who are into anime, uh, gadgets, and things like that. And um, a lot of my friends love this place. I actually am a pretty big fan of this place now. Before my friends came from abroad and showed me this place, I never knew this place existed. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. They have shops that cater to everyone here. Um, they have shops that sell figurines. They have shops that just have a whole bunch of um, gacha machines. They even have um, an animation cafe. That's a whole bunch of very interesting things. So if you're in Tokyo and you like things um, and Akihabara, if Akihabara appeals to you, I recommend you coming here. So Satoshi, what's your favorite thing about um, Nakano Broadway? It's the train model. The trains, the model trains. Really, really. I really enjoy the, the train models. The train models? <laughs> My favorite things actually are the gacha machines now. I'm kind of addicted to them. Well, I haven't played them in over a year, so I shouldn't say I'm addicted, but I can get addicted to them. I think Nakano is a great place to spend a day. It's chill, uh, lots of good food. It's uh, in Tokyo, but it has local flavor. I mean, what more can you ask for?